So what would you say is the difference between um, learning about Chicago politics by going online and Googling you know, Mayor Daley versus getting to use um, original papers from that time? Well, I mean, um, a lot of it is like what I said earlier, just like it gives you a sense of just the, the importance of the events and just how, how real they were. Um, another thing is it's just, at least for me, it's like because we weren't just looking at letters and everything. We were also looking at newspapers of the time. And uh, while research articles online that you Google, they, they focus on like the specific thing you're looking for. Um, the like newspapers that are available here in the library, um, they don't just talk about the events. You see like little snippets of other pieces of life. Like we saw like a bunch of ads for a uh, cannonball Adderley. He was performing here a couple of times. Uh, a lot of different things too. A lot of different ads for like products of the time, where, which really makes you think like, wow, this is really old. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think it's um, it's pretty good because it just uh. It gives you a sense of what life was like at the time. And especially online nowadays, uh, a lot of people do forge a lot of things. So uh, it's not a really trusted source, especially with some of the websites. Uh, getting to hold the documents and the papers, the letters, just uh, proves everything um, that's said or done or you've seen online. And it just gives it that you know extra touch and feeling and experience that you can't really experience by looking at a screen. Um, yeah. I feel like with things that are online, there's always some human bias because of the people that post it, and I think that bias is just purely human. But it was great to see that bias go away because we can hold the documents, we can form our own opinions, we can see all of the sides of what was going on. So you don't have someone kind of telling you how to interpret the event. You can interpret it yourself.